Agent Steve Haynes, man.
I'm going, man, before you take advantage. Dumb luck right there.
It's me, dog. Where we at? We're at Enzo Benelli, mafia guy turned real estate developer. He's bullied his way onto half the building contracts in Los Santos. Extortion, murder, labor racketeering, you name it. There's not a construction worker in town earning a livable wage right now, and Gold Coast Development is about to go under. <laughs> and let me guess, you got a personal interest in Gold Coast, right? <laughs> Anyone think you'd done this before? Uh, according to Benelli's cell phone, he's at the construction site downtown. It's done. One small problem. My source squealed. Benelli's expecting a hit. Watch yourself and go equipped. You'll have a lot of muscle. price on me and you're telling me to calm down i'm going to stay near the chopper you dumb fucks do your job if I have to. This motherfuckers. How many of these fuckers are there?
Someone put a bullet in him. It's only one guy. Yeah, you're mine now. Who the fuck is covering me? Oh. Anton's gonna have so much balls for this. There he is. Taken care of, but man, that shit went south. I know. We better let this simmer now. Way too much heat. Very nice work, Franklin. Mr. Conservative! Man, what the fuck are we doing here? Nothing. Okay, a little something that's gonna help me get some tail from those Midwestern ladies that I get to meet online. Let's pretend for a second that you're not so much of a pussy and vamos, as my cleaning lady would say. Uh, just to be clear, uh, I'm not racist. I, I meant that ironically. I, uh, I have a black friend, and uh, I didn't even really notice that you were black. Uh, or whatever your people call hey, it. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> let's roll. Let's roll where? Catch you on the flip side, buddy. Yo, did you see that? Half the airport's on the Dominator's payroll today. Better bond fast with that beauty, because you two are going tandem. I didn't bring my idiot translator. What the fuck are you talking about? You're driving that hunk of metal and gasoline. 
I'm doing fucking what? I touch? Uh, yeah, okay, air five then. Parachute? Check. ATV? Check. Big pair of balls? Uh, uh, check. Okay, this is happening. Come on, let's fucking do this. know how it feels to ride an ATV out of a damn airplane. Man, how much that shit cost you per second? <laughs> it's relative, bro. How long did it take me to earn the bills? Listen, you go out walking amongst the drones. I'll be on top of the maze bank building with the higher beings. Dominator out. I'm lost. Can you give me a ride home, please? Sure, okay. Come on. Finally, a nice man. Thank you. I live out at Catfish View Mountain. Gordo by the lighthouse. It's very icy. Am I glad you came along? I was out hiking and got lost. I've been trying to flag down a car for over an hour. Why didn't you just call someone to come pick you up? I couldn't get a signal on my cell, and I don't really have anyone to call. 
not since Mama passed. She was very hard on me, but how I loved her. I have her hair in my backpack. What? The days get long out at that house all alone. They don't get many visitors anymore. The gardener used to come on Fridays till he got real sick and fell off that cliff. So, well, you know how they like to talk. But now, it's just me. Living on soup. Soup I make from old soup. Soup after soup after soup. I have to get out of there sometimes and clear my head. Those damn birds always singing no matter how many times I poison them. Bird soup. Soup with bird. Birds with soup. Every night I think I found peace, but then morning comes and with it another fresh hell. I come up here to escape them and they're still singing, taunting me. No, the house hasn't been the same since Mama passed. Most days, I just work on my project so I can be rich and have all the gentleman callers I want, like a real lady sipping on tea on a porch. You know, I love working with rubber, burning it, tasting it. You've got shoes, you've got feet, am I right? Hello? Clothy cloth ears, are you listening? You've got shoes, you've got feet, am I right? Uh, man, I'm not gonna say you're wrong. But what about shoes that look like feet? You mean toe shoes? Yes, shoes that look like feet. That's what I just said. Shoes that look like feet. Shoes that look like feet. Feet that have shoes on them that are feet. Because you know you can buy those already, right? No, you can't, Mr. Silly Pants. How can you buy them already if I haven't made them already? Dummy, dummy, dum-dums. I like you. You're silly. The gardener was silly. He got sick. Folk talk. You sure you okay? Are you okay? Because this guy who picked me up the other week, this is it. Thank you. Here's my number. Will you call me sometime? I get so lonely out here all by myself. I love you. Don't feel too good. Think shot those politicians and activists. It wasn't who they said it was. They think we're stupid. Hey, what's up? Oh, hey, man. 
How you doing? Man, I was wondering, have you heard from your family? Yeah, sure. No, that's a lie. I haven't heard a fucking thing. Damn, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, well, it's not gonna matter. We're all gonna be dead in about a half hour anyway. What's going on, ladies? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael, business. Uh, all right? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time-consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh -huh. You know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us... Please just... fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Uh, oh, right. ho, hold on, man. Can y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You, Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a freaking lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, Fuck uh, uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And I fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on, come on, Mr. Leisure Wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency. And they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> all, right, so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 no. There is no getting it straight. That's the point. Now we're doing this. You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us. What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton, been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we save for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Go down the coast. The facility's a few clicks south of us. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here goes! So, you got any 
more little facts for me from the instruction manual? Ah, you'd want some intel on the equipment we sourced using your hard-won funds. Ha, I figured it was all gonna go on a wardrobe full of windbreakers. Oh, and maybe some nipple clamps. We ready? I was born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. Lead the way. Bank robber, set your face. You're just stunned. Hands up, you, now. Against the wall, quick. What the heck? It's time this guy went to sleep, Michael.
Put him up! Put him up! Bank robber, I didn't give you permission to get hot. They're down. Let's go. Corridor goes around to the left. Let's keep moving. I'm through here. Behind the wall. Security detail about to make a pass. This is them. Take them out or let them go. I dare you. Just a little pinprick. What can a pinprick do? Ask the monkey. Go on. Find your own. On your head. They've gone. We've got some time. Use the card on that swiper. There's a lab rat in with the toxin. Let's do this. Give us access. I'm not coming out. He's got the locking system overridden from in there. Pause it. We got company. I got this. to sleep, Michael. The toxin is volatile. We need to get it into a refrigeration unit. Security alert. Security alert. Facility breached. You got the right weapon? The shit's about to get real. Agency security. have done enough good work for today. Put them to sleep. It's gonna get heavy here. Use a real gun. Sec detail, fair. Don't sit there. Bring it to them. Let's go! I'm a fucking 
Get the agent in the refrigeration unit. It's over in that container. Come on. Here we go. Get her on ice before the sell by. Okay, steady. Ah, easy does it, Em. Just as I was getting used to having the apocalypse in my pocket. There you go. Phillips is on his way. Good. Get this thing ready to move. I'm just a couple clicks out. Is the package ready? Package is ready. Get over here, man. I can't believe they spent the tank from the Polito job on this chopper. It's a flying pig rig. And we need a flying pig rig right now. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Huh? You and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. Who's this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you can take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. One 
wonderful time, Trevor. But we both know I made a vow to my husband. <laughs> I know! You have a great pain inside you. But you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy and so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The ruin I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. You treat you! I know. I know. No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! The otherwise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Good friends! Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for the statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will.
your chance. There you go. I persuaded him to change his mind. Huh, you're my hero. I can't thank you enough. Miss you already. Hey. What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. P please just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance did you catch crabs at that conference? Ah, boy! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Can I come in? Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah. With every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you, I've got a career! I don't need this, this, this crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now, you and your weird friends. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Trevor? <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Oh, interesting lady. Uh, I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. Oh, I know exactly where to take you.
I could run in and get Floyd and Debra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd, then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah. Syrup. Accident. We've all been there. Sure have, but but it don't taste like syrup. Hey, hey! Look me in the ass! Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year, I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and. And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you, driving out to a quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around. I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is... You can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. So, this is where Floyd is gonna meet us, the strip club? Oh, yeah. That guy like him, he's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here, mm, right here. Here? Mm. <laughs> Here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taken over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. Hello. IT guy, what's up, bro? Look, I know you aren't still fixing computers for a living. When you gonna throw some work my way? Hey, if you're right for a project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, but don't forget about me.
Those are selling fast. You should try it on. Make sure you come back. My boy Mike, good to see you. Yo, my man. I can't wait to yeah, get back I with that cardiac. Up. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if he's gay or not. I don't even know what mug it is. What's up? I wish a motherfucker would run up on me for wearing a hoodie. What up, homie? How you living? That's the words on the street right you now. You want a private dance, right? Fine. Hey, man, Whatever man. then, asshole. Been out for about two months. Man, they put up another deals and dollar store down the road. We need to get this money up. I don't know how killing family business Yo, is going to make the me neighborhood back safer. What? Where else can you shop around here if that's all there is? Gotta go, peace. You want a special dance? Just for you? Fine. You look like you want a private dance. I asked for your number, but they took my phone. Watch it, asshole. Hey. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there are other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? 
<laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. Hello? No way. I got some followers. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas. Clap, well, clap. What are you talking about, field? Frank? So oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It it's getting underground. It's hard. Though. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop Maybe outside the Arcadia the Center, girl. down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Uh. Hey, man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? But remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Look, dawg. Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Clockwork, Mikey. Like clockwork. You kill me before my jeans do. You mentioned a uh, job before. Help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Busting Brad out of the clink. How do you talk to Mike about it? Oh, fine. Shit! I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. You're the one who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on! Twin 1330. We have two hours before we need to be in Marietta Heights. Mike's observations fit with your scheme. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good point! Don't want him jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah! It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. But what those two don't know is, there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7, waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man! Those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh yeah, that and spying on innocent Getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if you want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key 
seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They'll take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole!
down there, but it ain't a tunnel excavation. We'll keep looking. So how you feeling about this? Feeling pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. Will he? I hope so, man. I hope you hold it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA and your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'ma ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. All right, holla at him. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch.
Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know, no. sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know, you are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back, all right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! Ah, great! Hey, come on, where you going? You know where I'm going, fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton Wait, to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza, fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh no, no, it's clear and reason thought, finally! Stop your car, come on, come back, we'll talk. Oh, I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies! Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything. Just stop the car, turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Oh, the lies! How do you do it, man? The game is up! I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath! Trevor, come on! Fuck you, Michael! Soon enough, I will. Gee, shit! Special Agent Norton. Shit. Davy. Shit, he knows. I think he knows. What? Who? I think. Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey. He's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit! Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. But I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know.
看男友已已经到了机场，不管他的哪班机，我们会跟上。Going to move to Los Santos. Start over. I made a deal. The slate will be totally wiped clean. Hey, everybody, pay attention. No one gets hurt. Trust me, darling. Look at me, Amanda. It was the only thing I could do. Either everyone dies or one guy gets out. I'm that guy. His name is Dave Norton. Nice guy, realist. He gets the glory. I get out. It's not even a decision, Amanda. I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing, or do you want to go and live where it's always sunny? All right, you want to live? Tell me you want to live. Work this out. Work this out. It's so depot out of town. You don't need to know. Trust me. Nothing is gonna go wrong. Nothing. Yeah, I hear you. We gotta find. I did the deal, Amanda. It's over. Baby, we get out. Be happy. Be normal. It ain't supposed to go down like this. We did it, baby. We are home free. It's over. This is fucked, man. The thing is blown. Just this one job, and everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. A guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? Comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there. Uh, this is it. Moment of truth. As if I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot, you saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did, that's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep 10 years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger! You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! 
Who is that? Fuck! 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 John Phillips! Mr. Chow has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? Motherfucker! Come on! So, who are your pals, Trevor? Stop the man! I'm fine!
against you people. This is how many guys you send to kill Trevor Phillips? Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Huh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? My Cody Santa. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up? for his safety. <laughs> My lover, yeah, right. It's a tough break. I never want to double cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. Ah! Ah! Uh, not fuck 
attacking now! Huh. 